Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be sharing with you how to do gluten-free grocery shopping at your local Kroger. I have my laptop with me, ready to go. A lot of people are doing the grocery shopping from home these days because of the pandemic, so I figured it was fitting to show you all how to do gluten-free grocery shopping at Kroger, at home, on your laptop, on your cell phone, how to go ahead and get your things ordered and um, still shop gluten-free. So if you would like to become a member of our Glowing Gluten-Free group, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also go ahead and like this video and then hit the bell and select it down to all and that will notify you of every time I upload brand new content onto my channel. So today, what I'm going to be covering as far as the sections in the grocery store, I'm gonna be doing produce, I'm gonna be doing meat, seafood, pantry, and deli. Those are gonna be my five topics for today. This is gonna be part one of a two-part series of gluten-free grocery shopping at Kroger. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Produce, that is pretty simple, thank God, <laughs> and straightforward when it comes to gluten-free grocery shopping. You can pretty much go crazy in the produce section. So vegetables, potatoes, corn, cucumbers, um, zucchini, squash, you can do tomatoes, you can do onions, you can do garlic, you can do um, like your salad stuff, so your spinach, your lettuce, your peppers, your everything. You can do pretty easily gluten-free in the produce section. Fruits, you can do watermelon, bananas, grapes, plums, nectarines, peaches, all of the good stuff is so easy in produce because everything is naturally gluten-free. The only things that you'll really want to stay clear of in the produce section, or what I would suggest, is stay away from salad packs that already have all of like the salad stuff in it, unless you're growing with like just the lettuce packs, because that can have like croutons in it, it can have other kinds of products in it that you don't want. And also stay away from things that are already pre-packaged as far as things that are already cut up um, because that can be a contamination issue um, because you don't know exactly where that product has been cut up. And if they're cutting boards and utensils and everything, we're sanitary, we're gluten-free. And also um, you'd wanna stay away from anything that's like a party pack. Um, so anything that's like the fruits and veggies that are already kind of cut up in a little tray, a lot of times they will have like a dipping sauce, like a ranch, or if you're doing fruits, it'll have like a little cream cheese kind of. So you'll just want to stay away from those party packs because of the dressing or a little dipping sauce that they can have in with them. Cut the things up at home. I mean, it's super easy, cutting board and a knife. And you can either make your own little dipping sauce or I will be going into later good dressings um, and things like that to go with your fruits and your veggies. So produce, easy, simple, go crazy, <laughs> but get all the stuff that you want. Um, it's really easy to be gluten-free in the produce section. So next up is meat. Meat is fairly easy. Let me show you on the Kroger website. You can see the options on here as far as beef, chicken, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna to try to be going through each of those categories, at least for the most part, showing you how you can shop gluten-free. The first topic is beef. Now beef is fairly easy as long as you look for things that don't have any kind of pre-seasoning or marinade or saline solution or, and honestly that is really the ticket with any kind of meat when you're shopping gluten-free. Look for something that is just simply the product that you're looking for, whether it's beef, whether it's chicken, it's pork, anything like that, just look for that ingredient on the ingredients label. So like this here, ground beef at Kroger. And this is the Kroger brand. And this is the 80% lean ground beef. I'm gonna try to not get my light in here. 
So what you can look for is you can scroll down and one, it'll say gluten-free on the packaging or the nutrition facts, the ingredients. And this simply is just ground beef. That's what you want to look for. You don't want anything with any kind of additives to it. You don't want anything with any kind of seasoning or anything added to it. You just simply want the product. So when you're looking for something like that, just flip over the packaging and look at the ingredients label. Of course, it is helpful if the product states that it's gluten-free, but you'll still want to look at the ingredients because they can have like MSG, it can have seasonings, it can have flavorings in there, and they don't specifically label what the seasonings and flavorings are. And that's something as a celiac or someone who's gluten intolerant that you want to know. Um, sometimes they can have added starches to them kind of as a binder for the meat. And if it does not specifically say what kind of starch it is, you want to stay away from anything like that. So um, the Kroger brand is a good option if you're looking for gluten-free beef. Laura's Lean Beef is a good one. And so beef is fairly easy. The same thing with steaks. So I'm gonna go to a pack of boneless ribeye steaks. This is just like the pack that you would get. Okay, so this is just simply the pack that you would get at the grocery store. And it's just, like it says, beef choice, boneless ribeye steak. And so you'll scroll down, it has the gluten-free label on it, but it also has, again, in the ingredients, it is literally just beef. And again, that's what you're looking for. Okay, so let's move on to chicken. Now, a great brand that I always go for is the Purdue brand. That is usually gluten-free. The only thing that you need to watch out for, again, is the things that are added to it. So look for brands that have just, um, usually it's like 2 to 6% retained water is going to be okay with your chicken. It's just the natural juices from the chicken and it's not going to be any seasonings or flavorings. Let me show you an option of something that isn't a great option for you if you're wanting to stay gluten-free. This is the Heritage Farm brand. Now it says that it's gluten-free on the website. So here's the Heritage Farm. Turn it. Okay. And, okay, on the label, it says gluten free, but it says chicken broth, salt, and flavorings. They don't tell you what those things are, what the flavorings are. Personally, I don't trust that as a celiac, someone who has extreme gluten allergy sensitivity, not even sensitivity. A severe gluten allergy. If you are just trying to avoid gluten in your diet but you're not allergic to it, this could be a good option for you because it states that it's gluten free. But if you have severe allergies, personally I would stay away from it just because they don't tell you what they don't tell you what those flavorings are and they don't tell you what's in the chicken broth. Okay, so here is a good option for you. This is the Purdue Fresh All Natural Chicken Drumsticks. Let me just go ahead and get it zoomed in for you. Okay, so that's just the regular Purdue drumsticks. And then what you want to look for, again, is the gluten free label. And then it's just chicken drumsticks. That's the ticket, again. That is going to be a safe option for you. Okay, so now we are going to go into pork and ham. This is a little bit more tricky because a lot of ham has that added flavoring to it. But you can get things that are safe and that are gluten-free for you. So this is the Kroger brand pork loin back ribs. And... Here are these guys here, so they're just the basic plain ribs, and I did it again. Okay. And 
so when you scroll down again gluten-free and it's just the pork so that would be a great option if you're looking for some ribs and that applies also to pork chops any of the ribs any of kind of like the like the <clears throat> pork loins um, that is a good option if you want to do that another good brand to look for is the boar's head some boar's head you have to be careful that it is not gluten-free but a lot of them are so just read the ingredients label look for things like maltodextrin look for msg look for anything that is wheat derived anything kind of in that category let me show you an option that is not gluten-free this is a non-gluten-free option at Kroger for boar's head is something you want to watch out for. This is the boar's head spicy Cajun style smoked oven roasted turkey breast. That is a mouthful. But here this guy is. So you'll see it's heavily seasoned and you scroll down one. It does not have the gluten free symbol on there. And then when you go to the ingredients, let me just list them off for you. It's coated with salt, spices, brown sugar, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion chili pepper, paprika, spice extractives of paprika, turkey breast, water, less than 2% of salt, sugar, dextrose, sodium phosphate, natural flavors, spices, citric acid. So what you wanna look out for is the dextrose. You don't know where that dextrose is sourced. And then in the allergen info, it says may contain wheat and their derivatives, eggs and their derivatives, soybean, shellfish, milk, eggs, da, da 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 So that is something that you want to be on the lookout for because it is not specifically labeled gluten-free. And then when you go to the allergen statements, it has all of the information as far as what it could have come in contact with. So now we're getting into more of the bacon and sausage kind of area here. And that is also a tricky one, but you really want to look out for certain brands. Um, brands that are going to be good for this kind of meat, um, including hot dogs, are going to be the Oscar Mayer Naturals brand. Those are typically gluten-free and they have really good ingredients to them. Also, um, any of the Applegate Farms. Are really good brands as well. They're a little bit on the pricier side, but you won't get gluten, which is kind of the ticket here. So brands that you're going to want to stay away from are brands like Jimmy Dean and kind of the mainstream Smith, uh, Smithfield, any kind of those mainstream brands. Um, so let's look at a Oscar Mayer Naturals pack of bacon. So this is Oscar Mayer natural smoked uncured bacon. So it comes in just like a regular bacon pack. So you scroll down and it has the gluten-free label on it and I will read you the ingredients. So it's just pork, water, sea salt, sugar, cultured celery juice, sorry for my barking puppies, natural cherry powder, um, and that's it. It says allergen info contains celery and its derivatives. So this is going to be a really good brand to look out for when you're looking for any kind of sausages, any kind of um, bacon, like I said, hot dogs, Oscar Mayer natural, look for that label. Okay, so another really easy way to look for something that's gluten-free is look up a specific brand that you know either has some gluten-free items or caters to people who have gluten allergies or food allergies in general. So what I just looked up is the Applegate Farms brand. So this is going to be a chicken and maple breakfast sausage. So let's look at this guy. So it's all natural, gluten-free, dairy-free, no antibiotics, humanely raised, and no growth hormones. Um, it is non-GMO. So the ingredients are chicken, uh, maple syrup, natural flavor, brown sugar molasses, cane sugar, maple syrup, um, 
salt, spices, natural maple flavor. The reason I would suggest this specific item is because it kind of tells you a little bit more about, um, it doesn't tell you the spices that go into it, but it tells you the natural maple flavor, which is maple syrup and brown sugar molasses. So, and it's specifically labeled gluten-free. So I would try something like that. Um, another product from Applegate is they have really good chicken nuggets that are gluten-free. They have, um, let's see, they have the savory turkey breakfast sausage, they have um, hot dogs, they have pepperoni, um, they have tons of good options when you're looking for something that is gluten-free. Looks like they even have um, like turkey bacon in here. So definitely check out Applegate if you're looking for kind of breakfast sausage or sausage or just any kind of gluten-free meat that's not just like a, you know, a hunk of a pot roast or something like that. Now, turkey is a very difficult item to find gluten-free. So if you're looking for something that is like a whole turkey that's gluten-free, you can really only get it around the holidays. And you, what you wanna do is find a turkey. You're pretty much just gonna have to give a good look at most of them, flip that baby over and look at the back on the ingredients and you just want to see turkey and or retained water with the turkey. You don't want any spices, you don't want any salt, you don't want any natural flavorings anything added to it, and you would really want it to be labeled gluten-free as well. It is difficult to find, but you can do it around the holidays when you can get the whole turkeys. If you want turkey that's like for sandwich meat, things like that, um, again, the Oscar Mayer Naturals is a really good brand, the Applegate Farms, and also Boar's Head. Sorry, my puppy just brought me a ball and I realized I was holding it. Thank you, Kobe. Here's your ball, buddy. Good boy. You want it? No? Okay. Okay. So now let's look at some turkey that you can find in the kind of the lunch meat section of your grocery store. And um, like I said before, the Oscar Mayer Natural is a great brand to look at. So this one here is the Oscar Mayer Natural Applewood Smoked Turkey Breast Deli Meat. Here is this guy right here. And so then you can scroll down again and it has the wonderful gluten-free <gasps> symbol. And then the ingredients are turkey breast, water, cultured dextrose, contains 2% or less of the potato starch, sea salt, honey, vinegar, cultured celery juice, and cherry powder. Um, the dextrose, it doesn't tell you what kind of dextrose it is, but it does say it's gluten-free. And then the starch, it says that it's potato starch. So that is a pretty good option for you as well. And they have tons of other options on here, like they have natural uncured beef sausage. They have the bacon that we looked at earlier. They have turkey hot dogs. They have turkey sausage. Um, and they also have Angus beef franks. So that is gonna be a really good option for you as well. All right, so the next topic is going to be seafood. Now seafood is fairly easy. So you'll just want to look for, let's go into shrimp. You just want to look for um, packaging. Um, I usually go for the frozen shrimp um, just because they're super easy and you just want to flip the package over, make sure it just says shrimp. Um, and you can really find that really easily for um, like the Kroger brand. The only thing that you're gonna to wanna to be careful of as far as getting seafood is getting it in things that are again, already seasoned, already brined, already packaged, all of that. Or if you go up to the seafood counter, they have a disclaimer on usually the glass front that says that they can't guarantee that these items did not come in contact with allergens. So even though it might just be a piece of salmon, you need to be careful that it has not touched those other items. Or if you just wanna be on the safe side, go for something that's frozen. But usually you can get just a good piece of salmon or a piece of fish when it's kind of by itself in the section of the cooler. 
that doesn't have things next to it that are pre-seasoned or have breading on them. So you want to stay away from things that are like on the kebabs, things that are pre-breaded and pre-seasoned. Just go for plain and then add your own seasoning. That's really the key if we're looking for any kind of meat, seafood, is go for plain, nothing added to it, and then really learn your gluten-free spices and flavorings and everything like that to take it home and make it more flavorful with your gluten-free seasonings. Okay, touching back on deli just a little bit more. I know we kind of went through all of that, um, but as far as things, if you're looking for like dips and spreads and specialty cheeses, um, again, look for the Boar's Head brand. Um, that's going to be usually a pretty safe bet when it comes to cheese um, and kind of those specialty dips um, that are going to be gluten-free. So now we're going to go into pantry, which is a bigger deal for sure. So pantry, what I think of are baking mixes. I think of bread. I think of kind of like the snack foods um, and all that. Let's see what they have specifically on here. So when they, on their website, when you go to pantry, it gives you snacks, packaged breads, canned foods, baking and cooking, condiments and sauces, pasta and pasta sauces, grains, beans, rice, packaged meals and sides, spreads, jelly and honey, spices and seasonings. That's a lot. So let's start with snacks. So most nuts are going to be gluten-free. Again, look for the plain ones, or you can also go with um, the Planters brand has um, like the honey roasted nuts that are good. Um, and you can go for something like that that doesn't have gluten added to it. It'll have to, of course, say gluten-free on the back. And just stay, from, stay away from anything barbecue. Anything barbecue is going to have gluten. It's going to have MSG. It's going to have the smoke flavoring. It's going to have all kinds of junk in it that you don't want as a gluten intolerant person or as a celiac. Um, a lot of things that are flavored, again, same thing applies for snacks as far as chips, nuts, anything. You want to go plain. So go for the Lay's original potato chips. You can go with like the kettle cooked ones. You can go with the, um, you can go with the original. You can go with the Ruffles. You can go with um, the Tostitos brand has a lot of gluten free options. Um, the Mission tortilla chips have a lot of good options. Um, Snyder's of Hanover has um, gluten free pretzels. You can also look for the specific brands like Vans. Um, you can also look for. Um, Let's see, what other brands? Um, Good Thins also has gluten-free, kind of the, if this one is the Garden Veggie Rice Crackers. So let's start with baking goods. So as far as anything with like flour, anything that's going to be like a cake mix or a box mix or brownies, anything like that, you're going to want to stay away from really the main stream of the brands. So you're going to want to stay away from like the Kroger brand and all of that because it's pretty much just going to be regular wheat flour. But a brand that is fantastic, I know I've mentioned them before in some of my other gluten-free videos, uh, but King Arthur Gluten-Free. King Arthur has a gluten line and they also have a gluten-free line. Now their gluten-free line is, a, is in a complete separate facility that is dedicated to being gluten-free. They have fantastic options, whether you're looking for an all-purpose flour, they have pancake mix, they have um, like an all-purpose baking mix, they have cookie mixes, they have brownie mixes, they have chocolate cake, um, yellow cake, they have so many really good options. They also have a bread mix, and which is, that bread is the best bread I have had that is gluten-free. You have to make it yourself, but it's worth it. It's fun, I enjoy doing it, and it's delicious. Now, um, Betty Crocker also has some options that are gluten-free, um, but they also contain soy. So if you're um, soy sensitive, um, keep that in mind. Um, Bisquick has some gluten-free options as well. 
Now, if you're looking for a packaged bread, Udi is a good brand. Um, you also have, um, let me look, I'm just going to type in, um, that's the good thing about being online is you can literally type in gluten-free bread. It saves you the headache of looking through the store. Okay, so Shar brand, spelled S-C-H-A-R. They have some gluten-free options. Canyon Bakehouse, um, Be Free, um, Udi, like I said earlier. Um, Rudy's is a newer gluten-free option. Um, we also have Energy. Um, which energy is um, also dedicated, I believe, to be egg-free. So if you're egg intolerant, that is a good option for you too. There's a new brand called Susie's out there. Um, this is grain and gluten-free wild blueberry muffins. Another fantastic brand to look for is um, for in the snack cookie, um, snack bar, baking mixes kind of realm is the Enjoy Life brand. That is a fantastic brand if you're looking for anything that is allergy sensitive because they are going to also be free of the eight or the top eight allergens as well. So let's talk about canned fruits and vegetables first. Those are really fairly easy to find gluten free. Um, you can find the Kroger brand that's gluten free, Green Giant. Um, Bushes, baked beans, if you're looking for a bean, just go with bushes. Um, they have a really good options, a really good amount of options for gluten-free. So another brand that's good for fruit is the Dole brand. And then if you're looking for, since it's around the holidays, cranberry sauce, Ocean Spray is a great option. And that's also a really good option when we're going to talk about drinks in the next video. Um, Ocean Spray is a really good brand to look for, but as far as cranberry sauce and things like that, Ocean Spray is a good one. Um, and let's see, um, also canned tuna um, can usually be gluten-free. Again, read the back of the label. Um, sometimes the broth that they put in with the tuna can have wheat, so just make sure that it does not. And it says that it's gluten-free. Um, usually like the Kroger brand, is good about that. Okay, so let's get into some condiments and sauces. So regular ketchup. The Heinz brand is great for being gluten-free. Um, you can also look at French's for mustard. You can look for um, Leah and Perrin's if you want Worcestershire sauce. As far as barbecue sauce, that is extremely hard to find a gluten-free barbecue sauce. You pretty much just have to make your own. Um, look up some recipes online for gluten-free barbecue sauce. And then what you're going to want to do is buy all those items at the store, make sure that they are specifically gluten-free, and then you'll have those items on hand to make more barbecue sauce as you need it. But it's really hard to find a gluten-free barbecue sauce. Um, as far as more condiments and sauces, as far as um, salad dressings and things like that, like I mentioned earlier, the Daya brand or Daya, however you want to pronounce it, that is a fantastic brand. They not only have like ranch dressing, Caesar salad dressing, they have blue cheese, they have honey mustard, they also have things like um, macaroni and cheese, they have frozen pizza. They have, um, which is also meatless, um, they have just tons and tons, they have ice creams, they have tons and tons of options of gluten-free, allergen-safe options. They even have yogurt that is gluten-free, it's dairy-free, it's soy-free. They are a fantastic brand. If you see anything Daya, just grab it because it's gonna be delicious. They also have like the cheeses that are gluten-free, um, that are dairy-free as well. Um, and then pasta and pasta sauce. Um, Kroger online, they have, well, in store too, they have their own specific line of, of gluten-free pasta. And also Barilla, Barilla, however you pronounce it, the two L's, 
Um, that is also, they have a line that is also gluten-free. As far as sauces, go for Prego. The traditional, I believe, is gluten-free. Um, they are a great option. So here is the gluten-free spaghetti. On Kroger's website, it is the Kroger brand, the gluten-free spaghetti. It's corn and rice pasta. And then you scroll down and it has the beautiful gluten-free symbol on there. It's also kosher. And the ingredients are corn flour, rice flour, and mono and diglycerides of fatty acids. And they do specifically tell you that that is from rapeseed. As far as grains, quinoa is a good gluten-free grain. Um, you'll want to kind of stick with rice. Um, you can go with minute rice, which is super easy, but you can also find the brands like Mahatma that are more of the traditional way of cooking rice. Um, and they are going to have gluten-free options as well. Um, it also smells really good. I used to make it for my boys to give them a gluten-free grain option um, in their food. As far as beans go, like I said, um, if you want canned beans, go for the Bushes brand. As far as um, dried beans, just make sure on the back of the packaging you read it and it simply says dried beans. Packaged meals and sides, honestly, I don't even mess with. Spreads, jelly, and honey. Now, honey, you can get the Kroger brand that's going to be really good. Um, spreads, you want to go with the Smucker's brand. Smucker's, I believe, is all gluten-free. They're obviously a fantastic brand. They've been around for years and years and years. As far as peanut butter, let's look at Jif. It says Jif is gluten-free. Okay, so as long as you don't have a, an allergy to, obviously, nuts, or soybean, it says that the Jif brand of um, peanut butter is gluten-free. So that is a good option for you peanut eaters. Maranatha is also a good brand to look for if you're looking for a gluten-free um, option as far as like a nut spread. They also have like, I think they have cashew butter and they also have almond butter. I used to eat the almond butter and it was delicious. Spices and seasonings. Okay, let's get into this one. Spices and seasonings are difficult. But again, think the same gluten-free mindset of go for just plain. Not necessarily plain as far as not using spices and seasonings, but go for ingredients, ingredient labels that are just specifically that item. So if you're looking for dried basil, it's just dried basil on the label. If you're looking for um, like the pieces of garlic, like the minced garlic, just garlic, just onion powder, just specifically that one item. Now you can find blends that are gluten-free. Um, McCormick is a really good brand to look for. Spice Islands, that's it. Spice Islands is also a good brand that is gluten-free as well, but always just flip it over read the ingredients label and um, stay away from anything that is, again, more of those mainstream packagings like the ranch spice or like the ranch dry packets. Stay away from those guys. They are loaded with MSG. Um, pumpkin pie spice, um, the Kroger brand has a pumpkin pie spice. Let's see if it says it's gluten-free. It does say it's gluten-free. Um, it's just cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. So that is a good option for anyone who doesn't have a sensitivity to nutmeg. Um, really, the Kroger brand, McCormick, and Spice Islands are really good brands to look for when you're looking for spices. Just remember to look for that one specific item. And if you want to make like a poultry seasoning, go online and look up a poultry seasoning recipe and then buy those individual spices and make your own at home. You don't have to worry that you're not going to have your Italian seasoning, your poultry seasoning, your, you know, your more of your Mexican seasonings. Um, that is going to be something that you can make at home um, that you can blend and you can also tailor it to your tastes. 
Um, so don't worry about not having those things. Just look for recipes for a poultry seasoning and make it at home. And it's nice to have everything at home that you've kind of blended yourself. You can tailor it to what you like. You can put a little bit more of this, a little less of that, and you can leave out the seasonings that you don't like. And certainly you can leave out the MSG. So I think that is it for today. I am getting thirsty from all this talking that I have been doing. Um, salt and pepper, pretty easy. Um, I get the Morton brand iodized salt. Salt is just salt, except if you're going for like the flavored salts, stay away from the flavored salt. Just get salt and add your own gluten-free flavorings to it. Um, as far as, or you can also get the Kroger iodized salt as well. Black pepper, just get the Kroger black pepper or get just the, um, the actual peppercorns, grind it yourself and save yourself the hassle. Okay, that was a lot for today. <laughs> and I'm going to be going into more of the grocery store in my part two of this two part series of gluten-free shopping at Kroger. If you liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more things like it, um, please let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. If you have any questions for me, I would be more than happy to answer those questions. Um, also in this video, if you want me to specifically go into certain categories in my next video, I'd be happy to touch on that. So let me know down in the comments of what you would like to see. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I know it was a lengthy video, but I really hope that this helps you as you go gluten-free grocery shopping. Again, like I said, you can do it literally sitting at home in your sweats. I'm in my jeans today and my sweater, <laughs> but you can be in your sweats with your cup of coffee or whatever. Oh, coffee. Oh, we'll go into drinks later. <laughs> um, but it's just... I hope that this makes it much easier for you and don't forget that you can go on Kroger's website and literally they have a section dedicated to um, special dietary needs and you can go specifically to the gluten-free section. You don't have to go through every single aisle but I thought it would be easier for you all if you are shopping in the store for me to go through it like I'm going through sections of the grocery store that way so if you're shopping in store you can do it by section as well. But um, look up online, just simple, just type in gluten-free this, gluten-free that, whatever you are specifically looking for, type it in Kroger's website, they'll have options for you and um, just make it easy on yourself. Do your research um, and yeah, do a lot of research. It helps a lot. Um, so thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I hope you stay safe, stay healthy, and um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel again to become a member of our glowing gluten-free group. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Sending you all lots of love. Bye.